Hi friends, uh, welcome to Hive Video Tutorials. Uh, this session uh, I am going to explain uh, about uh, bucketing in Hive tables. So, previous session I have already covered on partitioning. Then, this is another topic uh, related to uh, performance. If we have a huge data and uh, it is impacting more performance while doing data analysis, like while doing uh, queries or uh, for reporting whatever you are doing using those data. So we can go for uh, creating the buckets. So bucketing concept is whatever you have created data in your table, that physical location, it will be splitted into multiple files. It will be splitted into multiple files based on hash algorithm. Uh, is whatever you are giving the column that's called clustered by. So we need to specify clustered by the column, and that data will be splitted and will be created into uh, similar junk of files multiple files will be created smaller files instead of big files it will be created smaller files so this buckets we can create with partition and we can create without partition so we can create a bucketing in hive with the partition and without partition also we can create with the partition means the data will be divided first partition then after that inside partition that files will be divided multiple files based on hash algorithm like if you are not creating a partition so we can create only uh, we can create only buckets that based on your cluster cluster by column and uh, that files will be splitted as same as multiple files let's see with one example so i have creating one table with uh, invoices underscore bucket with a partition here you can see i am specifying partition and the clustered by this column like any of the column whichever major column you are to use and I am creating 8 buckets here okay and the remaining I am storing as a ORC file let's create this table so table has been created let's uh, insert some data so with the partition right we need to insert data with the partition Drop rod. So I have already prepared queries. So I am inserting into this table with the partition value is this. Sorry, uh, this table is this one. What's the table? Okay, invoice underscore pocket the same table this table have created with the partition so when we will go for bucketing means if we have a huge data and if you are facing performance issues then we can go for bucketing and number of buckets also we can specify like I have specified 8 buckets right then select this data we'll see the data here and i will show you how it will be bucketed is see there's four columns and my partition column so this table i have created with the partition with bucketing so go to your warehouse this is my warehouse so this is my partition table with bucketing so first i will go to year partition then uh, month partition so normally earlier it is created single file right now here you can see multiple files has been created multiple the data will be splitted into multiple files then whenever you are fetching the data the data will be uh, fetched based on this hash algorithm okay let's same thing we can uh, create without partition this table I'm creating see I'm not creating any partition only I'm specifying only clustered by into eight buckets let's clear this table so table has been created and uh, you can insert this data where we inserted 
so here only you can insert okay this is without partition so without partition I have created table with bucketing now so earlier with partition and bucketing have created so first partition then bucketing data will come like this but if you don't have a partition the direct files whatever you have a files those are uh, will be directly it is bucketed like created multiple files I will see I will see the data because partition columns are not there in this table so only those three columns here you can see and based on CSQ I have created a bucketing let's verify the physical location how it is created so my table name is invoices underscore B this is my let's see see here you don't have a partition uh, folders right so directly I can see the my files that are split into multiple files so if, if you don't have a bucketing here if you not done any bucketing direct so I will show other table this only partition table it is not bucketed you can see only one file is there here you can see only one file it is created for entire table data but if you go to bucketed column so it will be split into multiple files so this is the way we can go for creating bucketing with the partition table or without partition also we can go for bucketing and when you are creating a partition and uh, when you are doing uh, uh, updates so you have to be careful and as it properties you have to mention the properties tab and then partition columns you cannot update so those also you need to consider that so this is the way we can go for creating bucketing in hive uh, tables if we have a the hive manage tables if we have a huge data so this bucketing we can create only for uh, uh, manage manage tables as internal tables and uh, that also if you have huge data and uh, it is impacting more uh, performance issues like if you want to fix those issues so that time we can go for creating a bucketing and number of buckets also we can specify while creating a table like this let's uh, we'll show that uh, without partition i have created one table with the bucketing so this clustered by this column and uh, eight buckets i am storing here and the storage information you can see here storage type and the number of buckets and the compressed now compressed and the bucket the column is sq okay so if you are going for partition columns only partition will be there and it is not a bucketed and if it is partition and bucketed so this table is bucketed and partition column so we can go to storage information here you can see bucketed column and number of buckets and uh, delimiter and the partitions also you can do this two partitions so this complete uh, detailed information about this table last ddl and uh, uh, where it is storing location and uh, other information we can see here and the stats also but, uh, we not enable this so here uh, ddl here you can see it is a partition and bucketed both so when we'll go for uh, bucketed means if you have a huge data and it is uh, taking more a longer time for queries and uh, for fetching your analysis so we can go for bucketing and for smaller smaller tables is not required actually but if you have a fact tables transaction tables if you have a huge data that time we can go for both the partition and uh, as well as uh, bucketing but sometimes uh, some tables so you don't need a partition so those you don't have a specific uh, partition data that time you can go for only bucketing and uh, you have to specify the cluster by column which column we are going to use that order, order by that uh, splitting the data so this is the way we can go for creating partition and 
so marketing so thank you for watching my videos so please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much